Welcome to Wednesday of Holy Week 2020. This is Dr. Steve Kobernick, pastor of prayer here at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center. And this is the fourth of seven three-minute imaginary prayers of Jesus at the beginning of each day. I encourage you first to think about this little conversation Jesus could have had with his Father about what was on his heart early Wednesday morning of Holy Week. Then read Matthew 22, 41 to, 20, 41 to 23, 39, and Mark 13, 1 to 33, to see how his day went after he prayed. Finally, ask God in Jesus' name for the same four prayer requests he prays at the end of the video. Good morning, Abba. I'm excited, feeling it's so close to when your glory will be revealed in my death and resurrection. I woke up thinking about how King David recognized me as his Lord, even though I am his son, to fulfill the covenant we made for his throne to be established with me to rule from it forever. That's good, Yeshua, my son in whom I delight. I'm excited about the glory we will share together when you conquer death and return here to heaven, and about the glory you will have when you reign as undisputed king of the whole world. So, Abba, how then am I to come back from heaven to rule the earth? The prophecies of Daniel are fascinating, but so hard to understand. Keep it simple, son. You will return to earth with demonstrations of power and great glory, but first, Jerusalem will be destroyed, including the temple. The Jews in your church will be dispersed and persecuted throughout the earth before the great harvest. There will be unprecedented shaking on earth and in the heavens before you return on the clouds in great glory to overthrow the wicked and establish your kingdom. Wow! And how shall I tell the leaders of my new people so they can have hope before their trauma at watching my suffering and death? Ruach HaKodesh, our Holy Spirit, will reveal what I want you to tell them on the Mount of Olives this afternoon. But this morning you must publicly denounce the religious leaders in the temple so the people can know why our kingdom has been taken from them and given to your church. Okay, Abba, I'll do those things today. And here is what I would like you to do. One, give my disciples wisdom and courage to receive what I need to tell them so that faith in my coming again to earth will encourage them and give them endurance. Two, Help all who hear your word to the religious leaders to respond with humility and wisdom, not with spiritual pride, disrespect, or confusion. Three, have mercy on all who will suffer during the destruction, dispersion, persecution, and shaking so they will turn toward us instead of away from us. And four, thank you that the end will come with a great harvest of souls. Prepare my new people to welcome and disciple all who come. Amen.